Jesus says, my sheep aren't going to perish. I know a great friend of mine who says, I, I was saved by Jesus, I was saved from myself. We're going to be saved from ourselves and sustained. We're not going to end up with a predictable ending of where we would have ended up. And Jesus says, the last thing he says they get, and this is something that's really significant, is he says, no one will snatch them out of my hand. Now, it's a bit of a diversion, but I want to go there, because I like it. Jesus says, no one snatches my sheep out of my hand. What do we know about Jesus' hand? Jesus says that me and God are one. So Jesus' hand is therefore God's hand. And this is the hand that, as Hebrews 1.10 says, In the beginning, Lord, you laid the foundations of the earth. The heavens are the work of your hands. These are the hands that flew the stars into space. These are the hands that hold the planets up and keep them spinning. This is the hand that keeps the universe ticking and that pushed it all off in the first place. And this is the big, mighty, powerful hand of God. And Jesus says, if you're one of my sheep, you're in this hand. I got you. This isn't just God's hand, this is Jesus' hand. And Jesus' hand is the hand that was nailed. Jesus' hand is the bloody, broken, dead hand of Christ. Jesus is the hand that paid. So when Jesus says, you as my sheep, they didn't know what was going to happen to Jesus' hand when he said it, but we know. My sheep are in my hand. And no one's going to snatch them out of my hand. Because Jesus' hand is the big hand of God. And it is strong enough to hold us. Because Jesus' hand is the bloody hand of Christ. And it has paid enough to hold us. So that whatever comes along, whatever life throws at us, He's got us. And we ain't going nowhere. It's good, isn't it? It's worth listening, isn't it? <laughs> it's worth changing a few things and taking His advice on how we should live our life, isn't it? So, are we going to be good little sheep, and are we going to be fluffy? My sheep didn't like their shepherd. Because what they saw of their shepherd was a shouty, sweary, hitty old woman who was no good to them at all. So they found themselves a better shepherd. Jesus said, look, my acts, the things I have done, show you what I'm like. What Jesus has done, not just in the past with the miracles he did in the Bible, that's good, yeah. But what Jesus has done for us, in our lives. What Jesus has done for our community, and for our nation. What Jesus has done this week, to help us get through. This is why we follow Christ, isn't it? Because we've seen and we know, not that it's been proven to us, but we know, because we've seen that he is the Messiah. And we have listened to him. And we have followed him. And we have let him know us. And in return we've got a life that is better. And sometimes it rains and it doesn't feel like it, but it's a life that is better. And that's not something waiting for us on the other side of the pearly gates, but it's something that we already have in our pocket if we're following Christ. We have a life that will never leave us, no matter what we do or anyone else does to us. Because we're in God's hand. In the big hand of God. And in the bloody hand of Christ. Place to be, yeah? Amen.